Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are playing more Phoenix Wright Justice for All. Last time, we kind of started getting a hell of a lot of suspicion for Morgan Fay being in cahoots with Eenie Meenie. We did learn that Eenie was also in the car. And, um, yeah, we got a lot of interesting stuff going on. Um, Nick? Yeah. Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? Um, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time by herself and she's so grown up. Yeah, and I'm sure she's felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me and, well, I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Again. But we're, we're not going to count that, I guess. Um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. You know, two accusations of murder, you've been on the stand twice. Good morning. The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Girly Pop, your mom's going to accuse Maya, but like, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Hmm? Yes, Mr. Nick. Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I, I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. <laughs> but Pearly, not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later then. I'll leave you to, al to your alone time. <laughs> I, I, I just heard Barakamon, and I'm now just thinking of Pearl as a uh, little kid who's just like, knows every like, inappropriate thing. And I'm just like, that's now what I'm thinking. <laughs> <sighs> Thank goodness. Nick? This way. Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? That's her mom gonna be going out in guffs. Yet she's still there. But I guess if Mia's there, Pearl won't see what happens to her mom. As opposed to, I need Mia there, it's more of, I don't want you to see what is going to happen to your mom. We're, we're basically blaming her. Uh, the defense is ready, your honor. Let's get started already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? It sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool, wearing that foolish, foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I am the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Who is trusting a five, a 13 year old with their case? What is Germany's criminal law proceedings? My goodness. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. <laughs> Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Fay. Again, we let a six-year-old into this place. Just saying. Ugh. It's true what they say. Women are really scary when they fight. <laughs> Uh, now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. 
that the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. And this key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Uh, alright, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? But, but, Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. The, then what is the meaning of this? All I am saying is that Maya Faye, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe this is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Is it that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendants and Morgan Faye to the stand. Just as I suspected, Aunt Morgan. Or Mia. She seems really torn by this. Witness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I'm a spirit medium in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean in a manner of speaking? Uh, I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, and that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. A spirit severing technique? A technique to remove the spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is... Yes, that is... You be quiet! Now, witness, something happened while you're performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. What in the world could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. What? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fay, while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Order, order, order. Miss Fay, please testify to this court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. After we heard the gunshots, the two, those two broke the door and entered the chamber. I don't really remember Morgan's voice. I don't trust myself in doing it, so I'm not going to do it for the testimony request. So then, Mr. Wright and the other lady, please contact the police. Pistol was hanging from Maya's hands and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Why have you hidden this until now? I, I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to crack, find a crack in her testimony. Okay. Hold on. So I heard the gunshots. My, okay. He, I mean, obviously we know she's lying out of her fucking ass. Because one, we have that. Two, we have this. Three, all that was in. Oh, so we actually don't have information that that was found in the incinerator. Okay, so I'm gonna try um, just pressing everything. Just now, those two. Who are the two people you were? Why are we pressing on this? I was referring to that young foreign lady and yourself. Lada's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. No, oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English, not to mention she looked awful. I can already see people in the Heartland gearing up for a riot. In any case, I had already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, well, thanks. Hmm, what did you do after- okay. Quite- I 
thought we went first. Let me look. Pistol was hanging from Mr. Kamano's hand. She was in a daze. I'm gonna press this back part. Is it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit such a thing. However, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There's no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember at the time, the defendant was not physically my of A. Hmm. Rowing gold is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, my affair was still that of the nurse she had called. If she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Oh, well, yes, I would have, however. And then... You fainted! I became dizzy and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I, I am not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps? Hmm. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy witness, elaborate on that point for us. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Right, no. I'm gonna question further. Like, it feels like... Like, again, with this game, it doesn't feel like anything we do, like, if we don't question something further, it's not going to do anything. So while you're unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went? I would think that's obvious, good sir. That's true. And how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? How did you mention him? I have to wonder myself. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? I mean she has another witness up her sleeve. That's what. Looks like Ms. Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. I can't see a crack in her testimony. What should we do? For now, we should try to get more information out of her. After we get more information from her, we may be able to use it later to our advantage. Okay. Was it really necessary to have two people to do something so simple as to call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes. That's a very good point. At the time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another... Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of that sentence. Let's question it further. There was another reason you wanted us both out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good sir and that camera woman may be in danger. This is what I thought to myself. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. People don't have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Satisfied now? Okay. I feel like we just have to press everything. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head. And the strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by the statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. Hmm? Uh, but why would you lie about something like that? It's very painful for me to say this out loud. The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya. We're questioning everything further. So, you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. Had the renegade Mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Uh, something unexpected? What, pray tell, did she? Uh, this witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always the later. Yes, very well. Ugh, why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? 
Uh, that's enough. From what I could tell, there's nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. Hmm. I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Is, uh, is Inu Mini going to come to the stand? Be quiet, you. Now then, what the escapee has done, she had gone to speak with a certain person. She, she went to speak with someone. Yeah, it's Eeny Meeny. Uh, who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Meeny, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Meeny. I think you can see where this is headed. Do I not have enough information? Did I screw myself up? Witness name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is like Eeny Meeny. I'm like researching like parapsychology stuff at um university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's like I guess most people call it occult stuff. Even though that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, now then, Miss Meany. After murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Fay. Is this correct? Um, well, hmm. Like, I guess. If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Uh, yes, sir. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine for my sake. So, like, after the murder? Like, when the channeling started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. It was, like, oh my god, totally my sister. I was, like, I, I hadn't seen her in, like, so long. I was so happy in, like, a sad way. My sister, she, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. Now, hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person entered was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Fey? Really now, your honor. Maya Fey was still in the middle of channeling at that time. Are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Mimi. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is... Witness. Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Meany, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Any? She took her revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Uh, yes. There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go as far to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. The end. Uh, what do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This. This testimony just now. Was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed. But that's all it is. But even the most well-spun lies can be undone. You can do it, Phoenix. 
Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts more foolishly foolish travel. I wonder if you'll make this one more entertaining than the last. Okay. For one, I don't think she was sleeping in there because the pile is still the same. Was that because of your um, sesame allergy, was it? Oh, hi. That's right. I, like, think there were sesame seeds, like, in the lunch they served that day. I had this, like, premonition that it was going to be totally a seedy day. Yes, indeed. Hmm. I see. Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyway, so you were taking a nap, and something happened while you were sleeping. Okay. Let's press this. You were happy in a sad way. Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here was surprised at seeing a dead loved one again. Um, but, like, maybe if I was, like, someone who didn't know about, like, the occult, but I, like, know all about the Korean channeling technique. The point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like, what she said. Hmm. Should I drop this line of questioning? No, we always just question further. Always. It'll bite us in the ass at some point, but I don't think it has yet. So you really didn't think anything strange at the whole encounter? No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to think, like, anything was strange. But... <clears throat> don't keep badgering her. You know the phrase, objection. Could you try using that once in a while? Hmm. Mr. Wright, this question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister is really that important. I feel like we have to say it's very important. Okay. Yeah, we do. It is very important, although we haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got a bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. Alright, Mr. Wright, Miss Meany, please don't mention your testimony. Like, okay, I'm like, totally cool with that. I wasn't, like, scared at all, and, like, her totally- her costume looked totally, like, normal. It was covered in blood, supposedly. So, there was nothing odd about- at all about her sister's appearance? Like, yeah, nothing was, like, weird. Hmm. Hmm? Mia's talking to herself like she's found something wrong. That's impossible. Like, is everything okay? Can I, like, go on? Press that. Something terrible. What was this thing she told you? Huh? Like, didn't I just tell you about it? Did you, like, forget already? A foolish fool with a foolishly sieve. Foolish sieve for a brain only speaks foolishly with foolish words. Well, excuse me, princess. Should I ask to hear her story again? We're gonna hear it again because, you know, if there's discrepancies. Sorry, but could I hear the story one more time? Uh, like, sure, no problem. I'll even, like, tell it all spooky-like for you. That was no accident. I was drugged. I was sleeping pills. And I was murdered by that person. That's why I took her revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Amy? Like, how was that? It was a little scary. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe I, like, put too much spookiness into it. I know there has to be something here I can use, but where? She really put a lot of thought into this lie, didn't she? 
We can't rush this. Let's take it slowly, one step at a time. She's bound to slip up somewhere. Don't give up. But don't get careless, okay? Remember, calm and collected. Okay. Hold on. Oh. I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Okay. So we need to show this because she's like the costume looked totally normal. But this was the obje this was what it looked like. That was a very well spun line, Miss Me Eeny. Huh? What are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix, right? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Miss Meanie, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Uh, like, yeah, and? But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. Yeah, we show either it's still the same. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. The, the blood spray! <laughs> Miss Meany, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, her outfit's actually really cute. I could never pull off maxi skirts like that because I'm so short. But I'm like, I love the idea of how they look. <laughs> Miss Meany! I'm thinking, don't interrupt me! Um, that! <clears throat> and what are you stammering about, Your Honor? Um, uh, well, I, uh... That witness, her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on stand, though. First of all, calm yourself, witness. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sorry, I, like, didn't mean to snap. Now, hurry up with the testimony. If, if you please. Uh, the judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's going to be. Part two. This is what I want. Like, the side room was, like, kind of dark, you know? So, like, the costume is purple, right? The blood totally blended in. And I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And then I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Hmm, yes, now I see. And you have given us a clear reason why you didn't notice the blood. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps. You satisfied, Mr. Wright? Alright, I guess not. Uh, very well, you may question the witness. Okay, now I know what we need to press. Because I did this, because I didn't read part two. Side room was, like, kind of dark, so, like, it totally blended... Uh, no way it blended in. Shoot. Hold on. I don't even know what happened. My, like, computer, like, was sending off, like, freaking, like, print stuff. And I was like, ah. And what was your sister Mimi Mini like at the time? Well, she was, like, totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. She stabbed him, in theory. But I think, like, she knew she, like, said she did something really bad. And, like, she said she wanted to go with me to, like, apologize to Miss Morgan. Did Mimi's spirit really say all that to you? Like, yeah. And then I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, like, taking her revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel a lot better. I'd like to feel a lot better too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The sooner the better. She says this with her whip at the ready. And, like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? May I ask one more thing, Miss Meanie? 
Like, sure. Was there anything else you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Huh? Like, when do you mean? Uh, when, uh, when you... When she was going to the crime scene, which would have put her through the winding way, which would have put her in Pearl, because Pearl was out there. That's my guess. I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly, now what? I'm pretty sure this is right. Yeah, going to the crime scene, pressing harder. Okay, perfectly. Then Carter, I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. Oh yeah, because Pearl was taking her entire time to, like, refix the thing. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber is all that important? It's very important. I ask because it's very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. Very well. Miss Meany, if you will please, include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. I like, didn't see anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. Which can't be the case. Because she was repairing it until the police came. I finally found the fault, or I guess in your case, the crack in your perfect lie. Huh? Take a look at this urn. Like, urn? There are cracks, do you see them? So, like, what does that prove? <laughs> Who cares about some worn out old urn? Like, yeah. I already, like, said I didn't see, like, anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. I didn't, like, totally say anything about it, like, an urn, did I? It looks like you still don't understand. I propose that if you had been walking along the winding way, way at that time, there was no way you could not have seen this person. I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Miss Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Yes, and how is this child relevant? It just so happens at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. Oh. And she just happened to break this urn. Oh. Oh. Wait. She broke the urn? Yep. She accidentally knocked it over with her ball. No. And Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. What? God, I wish I could wear berets. I feel like I can't. I can't pull it off. Miss Meany. Uh. Pearl was there in the winding way at the time. She was hard at work putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. <laughs> I think I have sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Meany. You are a masterful liar. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. The one who needs to watch what she's saying is a witness. So, Miss Meany, tell us the truth. <laughs> About what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. The witness just testified about that. <laughs> That's right. I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? I'm pretty sure she wasn't. Your lies end here. What do you? The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible, because there's clearly a contradiction here. A contradiction? Where is this contradiction? It's, it's in the testimony, right? Okay. It's in the testimony. Earlier in your testimony, Miss Meany, you made the following statement. And, like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? 
It's true that at the time both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. So, like, what does that like have to do with anything? It's very simple. Miss Meanie, how did you know that fact? Uh, how? I could see that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. <laughs> Which means, Miss Meanie, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. But you didn't go there by the way of the winding path. <laughs> But look at the Manor Guide map. For me to go to between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the side winding way. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why... Which is why I asked this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, uh. Miss Meanie, please answer the question. Don't ask a question off a baseless assumption, if you please. Well, I suppose that you put it out on the table, Mr. Phoenix, right? You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eenie Meenie. So now is the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Or was witness when the murder took place. She would have been in the channeling chamber because she would have been in the box. Right? Miss Meany was here, of course. What? But but that's the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Meany was at the scene of the crime. Order, 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 that's why that is... Ugh. Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yeah, yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Eenie Meenie was hiding at the scene of the crime. I... I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? She was behind the folding screen. I think we could just say here and that's good enough. Here, of course. Uh, behind the folding screen? Ugh. Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen. See? You stupid jerk. Quit being so quick to pin it on me, slime ball. Uh, no, no, Miss Mini. Oh. When so young as you shouldn't be saying, Shut it, Gramps! As if you know exactly how old I am. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. <laughs> the witness was hiding behind a folding screen with the help of this. Miss Meanie, how were you able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. <clears throat> That tiny box? No person can fit in that. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. Lotta disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. Um... Objection. That clothing box was in a side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. That's right, I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Hmm. Mr. Wright, do you think you can prove what the clothing box was at the time of the crime? Yeah. This has got the hole in it. And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Do we present it again? I guess so, because we don't have anything else. Okay, so we can present that or we can present the holding screen. Take a look at the clothing box. You're so stupid, as if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. This? What on earth? I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole. About eight inches off the ground. Hmm. 
a hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? The folding screen had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this will open your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen. Which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and then into the box. <clears throat> Miss Meany, you said you were hiding behind the folding screen. Waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Order, order, so what you're saying? <laughs> then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eeny Meeny? And that is exactly what I am saying, Miss Eeny Meeny. You were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. To masquerade as Maya Fey? She had a plan from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. N no! Stop! I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness! If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a propos proposition! This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box in a crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime? <laughs> it's not possible for one person to do all that by herself! I'm sure we say it's not possible and then we blame Maya or Morgan. Yeah. It really is impossible for one person to do all the preparations, that is. Uh, need I remind you, the foolish receive has... The foolish receive no mercy. Wait. Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? What? You, you can't be serious. <laughs> How has that hat managed to survive? <laughs> Miss Meany, you had an accomplice. <laughs> this person. If it wasn't for someone from Korean Village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Faye household, you wouldn't have that box to use. <gasps> Morgan, Faye. Isn't that wonderful lady witness we had earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Meany? <sighs> you shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Are we not including the stab? He got stabbed at some point, but we have not mentioned the stab one bit. Do you deny it? Sorry, I'm trying to do that without massively peeking. I think what it, this is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then, the channeling started. The murderer crept silently toward the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Fey with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with a knife. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But, that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Dr. Gray was not actually yet dead. To the loss of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. That's why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray. After that, you and the other lady, though, had to break into the room? Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shot, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Miss Meany, she immediately covered her own costume with blood. It pretended to be Maya Fey. That sort of deception would have been easy to see through. 
Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Fay chased us down. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry, before there are more victims here. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. <laughs> Who was that laughing at a time like this? <clears throat> oh, you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry. Are you still by chance evolving? What is it this time? This one, Karma. Surely. Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of Von Karma blood would lose to something this petty? What in the world? Mr. Phoenix, you're right. Your argument is flawed on one very crucial area. And that is... If this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act, what reason would she have to do such foolish things? Uh, well, that's, uh... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was going to say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Eeny 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 Meeny want to kill Dr. Gray? Where is her motive? Yeah, that, that's exactly what I wanted to say, too. Yeah, her motive. I don't have a motive. A uh, motive? That's... I can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. What is her reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead? The reason you wanted Dr. Gray dead is this. Do we go back to the... Okay. Car accident. Huh? Just as I thought. You bore me with your silly answers, Phoenix Wright. Just great. Now she's calling me by my full name. You think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes. Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I... And you want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? Senile, stupid graphs. I'm like, going to explain, so like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I like, wanted revenge, then like, I wouldn't have waited this long. Um, and besides, like, the guy that thought of the spear thing was like, Dr. Gray. It was like a total coincidence. He asked me about it, you know? She, she's back to her airhead persona. How, however, you see... Uh, pathetic, Mr. Phoenix, right? You failed to support your own theory. The end. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix, right? What Miss Meany has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there's no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive piece of evidence to demonstrate your point. Just, just so many faults, Mr. Phoenix, right? You should really learn your place. <clears throat> what happened? I thought I had her for sure. <laughs> See? Like, it's just as I, like, told you. I hope you like your slice of humble pie. Very well, I'd now conclude the cross-examination, Miss Eeny Meeny. Your Honor, please, allow the defense one more minute. Alright. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But, you know, regardless, that you're all trained for this crime. Uh, really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There is a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it also is the reason... It's also the reason she had no choice to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. If you want to say that she could prove Miss Meany had a motive, then... Why did she kill the victim this way? Can you prove the reason? Can you provide the reason? Can I? Can I really do this? Let me double check. I'm so... So not confident. Okay. 
Okay, so supposedly, supposedly we can't. I am not totally confident here, but I know I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Meanie had a motive. <laughs> too bad. You're too late. My cross-examination has already ended after all. It Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? You're supposed to be on my side. <laughs> Avon Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And I don't care if you are my witness, so help me, I will throw you out of my way. N no way. Uh, very well, uh, the court will take five minute recess. We will continue to cross examination after we can reconvene. <laughs> hey, wait a sec here. Dun dun. It's gonna be it. We will continue, I guess, the rest of the trial next episode. I'll see y'all then. Bye.